Hi, I'm Gary Takas. If you haven't watched our first two videos, I encourage you to click on the link on the upper left and take a look at those two videos. Both are loaded with content that will help you develop a thriving practice. We're going to continue today by offering a specific marketing tip. Well, you wouldn't be surprised if I told you that today, digital marketing is what's working today in dentistry. We all know that. We all know that today, if someone's looking for a dentist, they're more likely to do a Google search or do an online search than anything else. The tip that I'm going to offer you today is something that very, very, very few dentists are doing, and this can have a dramatic difference in your practice. The tip today is I want to encourage you to build online reviews, to build positive online reviews. Now, let me explain how to do that. It's actually very simple. You'll love this. Uh, where do you want to build those reviews? Well, actually, reviews are good anywhere uh, on the internet. There's many different review sites. Google does reviews. Angie's List does reviews. Yelp uh, has a category for reviews. Dr. Google. There's many places. But of all those places, the single most important place to build reviews, of course, would be Google. Google is the 5,000 pound gorilla when it comes to online marketing. So specifically, I want to help you build a collection of positive online Google reviews. Now, in order to write a Google review, the patient has to have a Gmail address. So here's how you can really hone in on that and make it successful. In your morning huddle, and I hope you're doing a morning huddle in your practice, uh, I couldn't imagine starting our day here at Life Smiles Dental Care without a morning huddle. But in our morning huddle, one of our team members prints a report of all the patients we're seeing that day. On a given day, we'll see somewhere between 30 and 40 patients a day here at Life Smiles Dental Care. One of our team members prints a report of all the email addresses of the patients that we're seeing today. Of course, we don't have email addresses on all of our patients, but we have email addresses on approximately 80% of our patients. On a given day, when we print that report out, approximately three or four of our patients will have a Gmail address. We take a quick look at those patients and we identify the one patient we'd like to ask to write a Google review. Usually it happens very organically. Uh, usually the we can just look at the list and, and a patient kind of jumps out. You certainly don't want to ask a patient that isn't positive and upbeat. Yeah, Debbie Downer is not the right person to ask to write a review. But we can usually look at those three or four names of the patients that we're seeing today that have a Gmail address, identify the one patient to ask to write the review. We go one step further, then we identify which of our team members would be appropriate to ask the review. We certainly don't want to have the patient run through a gauntlet with everyone asking. But again, that happens usually very organically. Uh, Kelly might say, oh, I go to the gym with Linda. I'll ask Linda. And then Kelly might say something like this. Linda, we love seeing new patients, especially patients like you. And as you might imagine, a lot of people today find us via the internet. Linda, would you do us a favor? Would you write us a Google review when you get a chance? That simple act of asking your patients to write a Google review, but it's very strategic because you're asking patients that can do the most benefit for you by writing it in Google will have a dramatic effect on your practice. I'm confident that if you'll implement this, you'll see dramatic positive marketing effects in your practice. 